Samsung, maker of basically everything technological under the sun, has released its latest PCIe Gen 5 drive, the 9100 Pro. With an announced up to 8 terabytes in capacity, should this latest SSD from one of the market leaders be on your shopping list? This video review is going to primarily focus on gaming scenarios, so for the full review, check out the link in the description. And basically the first thing that everyone's going to encounter is going to be the OS startup. And in that respect, the Samsung 9100 Pro does do very well, coming in tied with the A-Data Legend 970 and the Clev Genuine G560. And if you are looking to replace an existing drive with the 9100 Pro, then copying over games is probably going to be the, one of the first things that you do. And in that case, the Samsung 9100 Pro is one of the best you can get, and it takes the top spot, taking only 16.1 seconds to copy 75 gigabytes worth of gaming data. That's about 5% faster than the Western Digital Black SN7100, which we recently reviewed, and almost 20% faster than the outgoing Samsung 990 Pro. And on the other end of that operation, copying the same 75 gigabytes worth of gaming data, the Samsung 9100 Pro also does very well, being markedly faster than the Gen 4 drives, and coming in just a touch faster than the Clev Genuine G560 Pro to take the top spot. So with great write and read performance in gaming, does that mean that the Samsung 9100 Pro does very well in application performance as well? And the answer is yes, coming in just a bit faster than the Clev Genuine G560 Pro, and beating out the best Gen 4 drive, the WD Black SN7100. Power efficiency is very important for SSD since all the energy will end up as heat. And since the standard edition of this drive doesn't include a heatsink, luckily it does do pretty well in this test. It's not quite as efficient as the WD Black SN7100, or especially the Corsair MP700 Elite. It's still comfortably near the top of the charts with 1687 megabytes transferred per watt, which is a better result than most of the other cards in its performance bracket. It also does very well when it comes to write performance. And while all the drives are a bit less efficient overall while writing, the Samsung does do pretty well, delivering 1603 megabytes per watt, which again is just behind the WD Black SN7100, with the top spot still belonging to the Corsair MP700 Elite. So the Samsung has good efficiency and great performance, but how does it do in terms of value? Samsung really isn't known as a value brand, and the 9100 Pro isn't really going to change anyone's mind with Samsung's latest and greatest coming in near the bottom of the value charts. That does put it in a similar position to the Corsair MP700 Pro and the Clev Genuine G560, both of which are a little bit slower overall, so Samsung charging an extra $20 to get better performance is probably not going to dissuade many people. The biggest competition actually comes from Samsung itself, and basically every other Gen 4 drive, which, while they can't quite match the 9100 Pro's performance, they do come pretty close in many of the tests and at half the price. But if you are looking for a Gen 5 drive with the best performance that you can currently get, that is going to be the 9100 Pro, but it does come at a bit of a premium. 